So as you probably know, I played the alpha playtest and I have a few opinions about it. So if you don't know what Fragpunk is, it's the new 5v5 hero shooter by Bad Guitar Studios and NetEase Games. And it basically offers a fun and fast paced experience. And the game's unique shard card system changes the rules each round and it adds a fresh twist to each match. And with its quick gameplay, bright visuals, I think Fragpunk promises a lot of excitement. So, you know, I just want to give out a few opinions that I have about the game after playing the playtest. And there's going to be a dev AMA that I'm going to be covering in a future video. So make sure you subscribe so you can watch that as well. But to get back to the point of the video, so I just want to talk about the opinions that I have from the playtest that I played. And so I want to start out with the characters, the Lancers in the game. So one of the best parts about Fragpunk is its Lancers, the characters in the game. They the game currently features 10 different heroes, each with their own abilities and personalities, and the character designs overall, they're very impressive, and they give the players a range of styles to choose from. For example, I personally like Nitro. She has Chug Chug, which is like a tiny little robot, like turret gun that you can control, and her E ability is a wall and T is a turret, but I just like her aesthetics and her art style a lot. And then the, another character that I really enjoyed was Kismet, which is basically like a very offensive player where you can scan for enemies, throw like a grenade that goes through walls. Really good character, right? So there's characters like that that are like really, really, I guess you could say they call out to me. And so, you know, some characters are very complex. They're offering ex extreme depth for players to who like the challenge, but not all characters are equally detailed. Heroes like Hollow Point, yeah, it's she's all she has is like she's a sniper that you know that's it like the design is okay but it doesn't scream unique if that makes sense and you know there's characters that are really simple and they might be great for new players but could be less interesting for those looking for more variety it would be nice to see more depth added to these simpler characters to make them more engaging as the more complex ones but we'll see what happens Plus, they can add more characters in the future that we've just never seen before. And so, characters, the Lancers, overall for me, I will give it a solid 9 out of 10. Barring a few, you know, unique caveats, overall the character designs are really good. Balance is a whole different topic, but balance in an alpha, I don't really expect it. So, part 2, I want to just quickly talk about the gunplay in Fragpunk. It's good. They have 15 different weapons to choose from and each gun feels different. And it lets players find one that suits their playstyle from fast shooting rifles, precise snipers. The, vi the variety is very commendable, but there is some, of course, there are some balance issues with the weapons. Some weapons are much stronger than others, making them an obvious choice most of the time. And this imbalance can make the game feel less fair, less fun. And it's frustrating when certain weapons feel overpowered and it just overshadows the rest. So hopefully, you know, balance. Of course, in an alpha, I don't really expect it, but I hope they address it in the future and make a more balanced experience with, in terms of gunplay. And another thing I want to point out with the weapons is the fact that you only get one use of it if you die, which is very punishing. I like this system in the sense that you don't have to have econ rounds with pistol rounds and things like that. But at the same time, I don't think this is the right way to do it, where you only have one weapon of each type. And if you die, you lose that gun forever. I I don't know what the balance is. Can If you have any ideas, I want to see what you guys say. So please put it down in the comments below. I would love to see what you think. So I did mention the fact that, you know, balance is, you know, non-existent in an alpha and it's to be expected, but it is a bigger issue in Fragpunk. So right now, some heroes and weapons are much more powerful than others. And it, the match, it made the matches feel one-sided sometimes. And that lack of balance can be frustrating and take away it takes away from the fun of the game. You know, partic it's very particularly noticeable when certain heroes dominate every match with their one-shot sniper rifle, cough, cough, follow point, or a rocket launcher that is a one-shot rocket launcher, things like that. There are abilities in the game that they can use it every single round because you're guaranteed to have it, and that kind of destroys the whole purpose of a tactical shooter, in my opinion. And those hero abilities they're giving each run, it completely dis it disrupts the flow of the game, in my opinion. It would be better if players earned these abilities through like their actions in the game. 
and then that adds more strategy it adds more excitement you feel rewarded for playing and that change could make each round much more rewarding more competitive and encourages players to earn their power-ups rather than just receiving them automatically one more thing that i want to point out is the shard card system of course there are some cards that are absolutely bonkers and broken and some cards that are just you know when you pull them for your three card selection you're like oh no i don't like this i want to re-roll yeah the balance i hope they get it right i kind of hope that they do like a deck system where let's say there's right now there's 73 cards roughly in the game they might add more in the future or they might remove some cards my idea that i had is each team brings in a total of 30 cards six cards each and you have a point cap of let's say 15 points so for example if you bring the death card where grim reaper will slice people that card that card is five points so if you bring that card you can only bring 10 more points worth of cards I think that's a good way to balance it, but if you think that's a bad idea, let me know in the comments below. If you have a better idea, let me know in the comments as well. I really want to see what you guys think. And then, you know, positive side, I was kind of giving lots of negative feedback in the, for the most part, but positive note, the map design in Fragpunk, it was really, really good. The maps are really well made. It offers a mix of open areas and tight spaces that suit different play styles. And the shard cards, which can change the maps, it adds another layer of fun and variety. Mushroom bouncing, forests, icy fields, mist. And these cards can alter the layout completely, introduce new elements, keeping the gameplay fresh. And it was exciting to play. And this approach to map design makes each map feel different and it encourages players to adapt their strategies, which is something that the shard cards really do well, is changing the game flow so that you have to adapt to each and every situation that you know you come across. And the no maps are just visually appealing too. They have vibrant colors, intricate details, and you know, make it makes it exploring those maps a joy. It's really fun. And you know, just to end on the final note, in conclusion, for me, Frag Punk is a very, very, very promising new hero shooter that's coming out hopefully 2025. I hope it comes out sooner, but you know, it is what it is. And the game has a great character designs, enjoyable gameplay, creative map mechanics. It needs to address balance issues, of course, and improve how hero abilities are given and how shard cards overall operate. But you know, despite these challenges, my time with the alpha test left me excited for the future. And I really, really, really look forward to seeing how the developers improve the game in the future playtests. I can't wait for the full release of Frag Punk to 2025. And I really want to see what the AMA is going to be talking about. By the time this video is out, the AMA should be finished. But, you know, unfortunately I have work, so I'm going to be a little bit late in providing that AMA content for you. But probably there's bound to be another YouTuber out there that has already covered it in much better detail than I have. So check them out as well, okay? <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.